Good everyone, you're watching Radio Fixes. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix MS Gaming overlay pop up in Windows. Now, you would get this error message you will need a new app to open this MS Gaming overlay whenever you're trying to play the game or press Windows plus G key on your keyboard. Now, there are a couple of steps which you could try to get this issue resolved. Now, the first step is to go ahead and reinstall the Xbox Game Bar. To do this, you will have to open Microsoft Store and in the search box, you will have to go ahead and type Xbox Game Bar. Once you see the best match for Xbox Game Bar, if available, click on install to reinstall app. If the option is grayed out or if there is no option to click on install, you may proceed with the other fixes. So you can minimize this window. Next thing is you will have to go ahead and enable or disable Game Bar on your computer. To do this, you can do a right click on the start button and then click on settings. Once you are on the settings, you may go ahead and click on gaming on the left hand side. Now on the right hand side, you will see an option for game bar. Click on game bar. Turn off the game bar by using this toggle button and then turn it on. Close this window and then check if your issue has been resolved. In case if your issue has been resolved, well and good, you don't need to try the next step. Now if the problem persists, the next step what you could do is you could go ahead and reset Microsoft Store Cache on your computer. To do this, you can do a right click on the start button and then click on run. In the run window, you may go ahead and type the command WS reset and hit enter. This will go ahead and run the command in the background and eventually you would have a Microsoft Store opening on your computer after about a minute or two. So once you have the Microsoft Store open, it is an indication that the WS reset command has been executed successfully. Afterwards, you may try to check if your issue has been resolved. In case if your issue has been resolved, well and good, you don't need to try the next step. Now the next step is to go ahead and modify the registry key. To do this, you will have to open the registry by doing a right click on the start button and then click on run. In the run window, you may go ahead and type reg edit and click on OK. In case if you get a user access control prompt, you may click on yes or continue on the screen. Now before you make any registry changes, I would strongly advise you to follow the steps carefully so that you don't make any incorrect registry changes on the computer. Now once you have the registry editor open, in case if your registry is in the expanded mode, go ahead and collapse the registry key so that it is in this structure. Now, once your registry key is in this structure, you will have to go ahead and navigate to HKey Current User. Expand HKey Current User under HP HKey Current User. You will have to locate for Software. Expand Software, and then under Software, you will have to go ahead and locate for Microsoft. Expand Microsoft. Under Microsoft, locate for Windows. Expand Windows, and then locate for Current Version expand current version and then look for game DVR. Once you have selected game DVR on the right hand side, you will have to go ahead and locate if there is a key called app capture enable on the right hand side. So in my case, it is available. In case if you don't have the app capture key listed here, you will have to go ahead and create this key. And for the demonstration purpose, what I'm going to do is I'm going I'm going to delete this key and create a key for you. So to create this key, all you have to do is you will have to do a right click on this empty space and then click on new and then choose the word 32 bit value. Name this key as app capture enabled and hit enter and then do a right click and then click on modify and make sure the value has been set to one. Once this is done, you may go ahead and click on OK and you will have to repeat the same step under the different architecture. So you will have to go ahead and collapse this registry key. And uh, once you collapse this, similarly, you will have to go to HKey current user. Under HKey current user, you will have to go to system, expand system, and then look for game config store. Once you have highlighted game config store on the right hand side, you will have to change the value for game DVR enabled to zero. So in case if you have the value as one, make sure you have to set that value as a zero. Click on OK, close registry editor, restart your computer and check if your issue has been resolved. In case if your issue has been resolved, well and good, you don't need to try the next step. Now, I will also mention these steps in the video description. You can copy, the, check these steps from the video description.
Now the next step to resolve this issue is to go ahead and reinstall all Windows app on your computer. If Xbox related apps were removed using a third party tools, you will have to go ahead and reinstall all Windows app. To do this, you will have to open PowerShell as an administrator. So you can in the search window, you may go ahead and type PowerShell. You will have to do a right click on Windows PowerShell and then choose run as administrator. In case if you get a user access control prompt, you may click on yes or continue on the screen. Once you have Windows PowerShell open on your computer screen, you will have to copy the command from the video description. Copy the command, do a right click. You should have the command and hit enter. This will go ahead and execute the command to reinstall all Windows app on your computer. So you will have to wait until all Windows apps are completely reinstalled. Once this command has been successfully executed, you will have to close this window. It took me about uh, three to five minutes for me to completely execute this command. Once this is done, you may go ahead and restart your PC and check if the issue persists. In case if your issue has been resolved, well and good, you don't need to try the next step. Now, if the issue persists, the next step, what you could do is you could remove the key bindings via the registry key. So if you want to stop using the Windows G entirely, what you will have to do is you will have to open the registry editor by doing a right click on the start button and then click on run. In the run window, you may go ahead and type reg edit. In case if you get a user access control prompt, you may click on yes or continue on the screen. Once you are on the registry editor, you will have to go ahead and expand H key classes root. Under H key classes root, you will have to go ahead and locate for MS gaming overlay. Once you have navigated to MS Gaming Overlay, you will have to make sure there is a entry for MS Gaming Overlay on the right hand side. So the under the default, you should have these registry key. It should have the value in case if there is no value for MS Gaming Overlay under the default, you will have to do a right click and then click on modify. Make sure you have the value data as URL colon MS dash gaming overlay and then click on OK. I will also mention this entry in the video description you can copy and paste it from here once this is done you may close the registry editor restart your computer and check if your issue has been resolved now in case if your issue has been resolved well and good you don't need to try the next step the last step what you could also try is to make sure that all xbox related services are running under the services tab so you can do a right click on the start button and then click on run in the run window you may go ahead and type services dot msc and then click on ok once you have the services window you may go ahead and click on the name tab so that all the services are sorted in alphabetical order and so right here you would see all the xbox related services make sure that all of these services are running in case if they are disabled you can do a right click and then click on properties and then click on start and make sure they are set to automatic at the same time you can follow the same step for all the services related to xbox services make sure they are set to automatic and they are running do a right click properties automatic start apply and okay and do the same thing for all so do a right click go to properties check the startup type change it to automatic if it has been set to manual click on start click on apply and then click on okay close this window restart your computer and check if your issue resolves now all this step should definitely fix a problem in spite of trying all this step and if you're still facing a problem i would suggest you to leave me a comment in the comment section so that i can come up with the possible solution i hope this video was useful in case if you like this video please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel thank you have a great day